I'm Nikki, and I'm going to get you started. I've worked at Boxy for about three years. I'm the production manager here. I love it. It's fun. We have a good time. Today I'm going to show you how to get started using your Boxy. This is the very first step in using it. You've got your Boxy in your shop, in your school, at your home, and we're going to give you a little tour of what comes inside the box. Okay, now that you've got your Boxy open, make sure you don't just immediately discard the paperwork that comes in it. Most important, in my opinion, is this warning on how to lift your boxy correctly. It'll save you a lot of grief in the future. Basically, the gist is never lift a boxy by the acrylic. You always want to grab it by the aluminum frame. It's a heavy machine, so please read this before you ever try to move your boxy. We've got this startup guide. It'll lead you to our boxy support portal. You'll find a lot of forums, a lot of guides and manuals on how to get started using your Boxy, all three functions all the way through. Uh, next is a packing list. It's kind of an overview of everything you get. You can double check that you got everything that you paid for. And we also give you this card here. It's an activation card for Fusion 360. Boxy is working with Autodesk and they're giving anyone that buys a Boxy a free year subscription um, to their CAD CAM software, Fusion. Uh, it's really user-friendly, intuitive. There's a lot of support online for this program as well. Voila. All right, look at all the stuff you get with your boxy. We're gonna go through it piece by piece and show you everything you get. First up, you get a laser engraver attachment, a 3D printing attachment, and underneath right here is your milling attachment. All right, up next is our Boxy fix -a kit It contains everything you need for Boxy maintenance. All right, now for the big boxes. Up front, we got our Boxy power station. And right behind it, like I showed before, is your Boxy milling attachment. All right, now I'm ready to show you your sacrificial board and everything that's hidden underneath the platform here. So how are we gonna get to all this fun stuff underneath the platform? It's kind of tight under there. Well, what you gotta do, is tilt the machine back. Make sure you have a good grip on it. And we're doing that so we can access the Z-axis pulley in the belt. And you'll want to manually turn that a few turns and it'll move your Z-axis platform up until you have enough space to access everything underneath. Now go ahead and snip that cable tie and that'll give you access to your sacrificial board. On top of what we will be referring to as the mill platform, is your sacrificial board. Underneath, we've got a six foot USB cord. This will connect your boxy to your smart controller or computer. Underneath that is a starter roll of filament, so there's nothing stopping you if you wanna get 3D printing right away. You also get two pairs of laser goggles. Very important for safety when laser engraving. And finally, in this envelope, you will find uh, your magnetic build plate. This is what you will be 3D printing and lasering on top of. So why don't we just start digging into these boxes here. First up is gonna be what's actually gonna power your machine, your boxy power station. Here's the power station itself. This green light will be lit whenever there's power to the boxy. Here's the emergency stop I was talking about. Just one hit and the power will be cut to the machine. We've got the power cord, simply goes from the power station to a grounded wall outlet. And here is our key. Only allow you and any other authorized users access to this key. Turn your machine on and off. Up next, we're gonna open our boxy milling box. Inside you get everything you need to start a milling project with boxy. This right here is your one and a quarter horsepower CNC milling attachment. This will be placed inside the gantry, turns your machine into a CNC router. You also get an end mill to go with it. It is a quarter inch, two fluid carbide end mill, good for a variety of applications. And then along with that, you get the clamps you need to fix your material to the mill platform. So you're also gonna get the wrenches that you need for inserting and taking out the end mill from your router. All right, up next in this box, we've got our boxy 3D printer. Inside, you get the Boxy 3D print head. It gets placed into the gantry just like your other attachments. Um, it can make pretty much anything your mind can think of. We've printed with PLA, ABS, wood filaments, you name it, Boxy can do it. 
Up next is our boxy laser engraver. Probably my favorite of the three, but don't tell the other two, the printer and the mill. I love the laser. All right, this is what you get with your boxy. This is the engraver. Um, it slides right into the gantry, just like the printer and the mill did. Um, I like it because you're not limited with anything. You can engrave a variety of materials, um, wood, leather, acrylic. You can customize things you already have at home. I just like putting my own personal flair on things. That's why I really like the laser, and I think you will too. Our next box down the line is our boxy fix-it kit. Um, within this box, you'll find pretty much anything you'll need for basic boxy maintenance. First up in this bubble bag, you get a set of uh, metric hex wrenches. Uh, any sort of maintenance you would need to do on Boxy can be done with a set of wrenches. Up next, we got two spare bearings. Next, we got um, two different sizes of motor belts. These are for your, the pulley system on the Boxy. We also have um, a Z limit switch and an X and Y limit switch. If you ever need to replace them, we got backups in this box. We also have a motor driver, part of the Boxy's electronics. We've got um, a few extra bolts here. These are for your attachment heads. Here is a filament tube connector. This is part of your filament drive. If yours ever wears out, you got a backup. And then finally, we've got um, three warning stickers telling you not to put your hands on the machine while it's moving. Place those wherever you see fit. And that's your fix-it kit. In this envelope here, you will find your magnetic build plate. It has a rapid swap feature. Um, let me show you what it looks like. This is the surface you will do all your 3D printing and laser etching on. So let's say you're milling, you're done milling, and now you want to 3D print. You simply attach the three magnets here onto the three spring bolts on your platform, and it'll set really secure. And then whenever you're ready to switch back to milling, you simply pop it off, really easy, set it to the side. So that's your magnetic build plate. All right, this right here is your sacrificial board. It's similar to your magnetic build plate in that it goes on the platform, but this time it's for milling instead of 3D printing and lasering. Let me show you how it attaches. And this board is simply to prevent your end mill from plunging into your um, boxy platform itself. This boxy comes with a few more things, and so let me show you what those are. Um, in your package, you'll find some starter filament, this will get you 3D printing right away. You don't have to wait for your Amazon package to come in. You also have a USB cord, connects the boxy to your interface right here. And last but not least, these cool fashion accessories. Let me show you, model them for you. Oh yes. They are completely useful too. They protect your eye from eye strain and protect it from any sort of milling debris that could come by. That's what you get. All right, guys, one more thing I want to show you in our unboxing video is remove this blue tape protecting your um, limit switches. Very carefully going counterclockwise. All right. Those are ready to go. There's three more things I want to show you guys that you might want to get with your boxy. First up is this ruby red safety enclosure. It accommodates all three of Boxy's functions. It acts as a temperature controlled room for 3D printing, um, protects your eyes when laser engraving, and keeps milling nice and clean and protects you from debris. Um, easy access from the top. And finally, you might want to get a heated bed. Um, attaches really simply just a couple of steps to your Boxy. It will allow you to print with a wide variety of filaments. The wiring, simply attaches to the electronics of your machine. There is a guide on our support portal to guide you through the whole thing. It's very simple though. Um, comes with a, just a, an adhesive strip you take off, and this will be attached to that magnetic build plate I showed you earlier. Just like that, you're ready to go. Ranges as low as you want, all the way up to about 120 degrees Celsius. But here is something really cool. This is what I use at home for my boxy. It's what we call our smart controller. It's a fully functioning, high-def color tablet that comes preloaded with our Boxy interface and all the Boxy settings that you need to function the Boxy properly. Um, also, it's gonna come with a wireless mouse just so you can navigate a little bit easier. And you're ready to go. 
Thank you so much for joining me for this Boxy unboxing. I hope you join us next time in our next set of videos. I will see you there.